Hey guys, what is up? I am Rosie and I thought I would go ahead and give you guys my top five favorite Motley Crue songs with an honorable mention thrown in there. So this shouldn't take too long. It's not going to be a long video at all. So I'm just going to get started. Number five, Too Young to Fall in Love. There's just something about this early Motley Crue song that just gets me all hyped up. It makes me want to fight. I guess maybe it's the video, I don't know, but I love this song. I think it's a great song, and I think that people read too much into it, especially in this day and age where people read too much into everything. And I think if they just go into the song as a music fan, they would learn to love it. But people take things too seriously these days. Number four, Without You. I think that Without You is the perfect love song. Any woman would listen to the lyrics of this song and wish that it would be for them. I heard that the song was written when uh, Tommy Lee was on the road and was missing his uh, wife at the time, who was Heather Locklear. And I think Nikki wrote the song. Um, it's just really sweet, really heartfelt. And like I said in my video that I'm going to release for Motley Crue's 40th, um, it was the first song that I remember seeing, the first video I remember seeing of theirs. And um, I just think it's a great song and oh gosh, I want to listen to it now. <laughs> um, number three, Dr. Feelgood. Dr. Feelgood for so many years was my favorite Motley Crue song. And um, it's not my favorite favorite anymore, of course, because you see it's at number three, but it's still up there. There's just something about this song that it feels dangerous. And um, of course, it's about drugs. It's about um, a drug dealer. And um, the video, I think, is loosely based on um, Scarface the movie Scarface and it's just a wonderful song and I think that uh wish that MTV Classic would play it more because I don't hear it near enough now but like I said for so many years it was my favorite and Dr. Feelgood the album actually went to number one so it was Motley Crue's first number one album and in the dirt, uh, I think Tommy details that Vince called him on his birthday and told him, hey, we finally got a number one. So that's pretty cool. And the song itself is just phenomenal. Number two, Primal Scream. It wasn't until a few years ago, maybe a couple years ago, I don't know that I was watching YouTube. I was watching the Primal Scream video, sorry, the Primal Scream video on YouTube. And I found out that there is a version where there is nudity. And uh, I am so immature when I watch that video because like I told my youngest earlier, I think that there is a 12 year old somewhere really deep inside of me because whenever I see a girl's boobs especially when it has to do with my career I'm like hey titties so that's how I am when I watch the primal scream video as a matter of fact when I was watching it earlier um I saw that the girl was completely naked and of course her lower region is blurred out but you could still see you could still see and so I was just thinking, hey girl, nice landing strip. So yeah, that's as far as that goes. But the song itself is just awesome. You feel the ferocity in the song. You feel the anger and you feel the aggression. And that's what I love about that song. I love it so freaking much. 
and um, at number one is the song for the movie The Dirt and the song is called The Dirt. The Dirt was one of four songs that Molly Crew released for the movie, one of four new songs that they released for the movie soundtrack. And I absolutely love this song. As you can see, it's number one. It's my favorite song of theirs right now. And I don't know if it'll stay my favorite, but for right now, that is that is my favorite song. I just love, love, love The Dirt. Um, it, when I first heard it, they played the song every hour on the hour as a premiere on MTV Classic. And I didn't mind it at all. And then I saw it set featuring Machine Gun Kelly. And I was like, there's going to be a rap verse in this? But the way he did it, it fit. And it was awesome. And it made me love the song even more. And the fact that MGK is in the movie as Tommy Lee makes it even more epic. And I hate that freaking word. But it's epic. It's a big song and it just feels like Motley Crue. It feels like classic Motley Crue. It's not too modern, but it's not old. It just fits in. It's, it's like a natural progression of their music. And I absolutely adore this song. So kudos to the guys on this song. And I saw that John Five was one of the writers on it too, so hell yeah on that and my honorable mention is Hooligans Holiday Hooligans Holiday was on Motley Crue's eponymous album that came out in 1994 and um, features John Karabi as the lead singer now as I also said in that video that I'm gonna release for their 40th I think that that record would have done a hell of a lot better if they just did not call themselves or the album Motley Crue. If they had called themselves the Hooligans, if they had called themselves the Bastards, if they had called themselves anything else but Motley Crue, it probably would have done tons better. And the song Hooligans Holiday and the whole record just deserves another listen and it deserves a lot more respect than it got. So that's my honorable mention. John Karabi did a great job on singing that song and um, he did a great job on the record and I just wish that it had done better because it deserved better. But anyways, those are my top five favorites with an honorable mention. Um, tell me some of your favorite Motley Crue hits, and I thank y'all for wasting so much time with me. Thank you for listening to me. Hope to see y'all on the next upload. Love you guys very, very much, and bye for now.